Okay, we have to be very familiar with our exponent rules so that we can start working with exponential functions. So what is an exponential function? Well, an exponential function is any function that comes in the form of an exponent. Now, this is very specifically a number raised to a x power. An exponential function is not um, something like, say, x squared. That would not be considered an exponential function because that is a square function or a polynomial function would be another word for it. So it can't be an x raised to a number. It's actually a number raised to an x power. Something like this is what we're looking at when we talk about exponential functions. Now, notice here that they say a is a positive real number. If it's a negative number, that really works more for translations. You remember when we put negatives on, uh, in front of a graph, then it, it flipped it around? So really the negative would be a translation or a transformation. Our number here is what we're really concerned with. The number has to be bigger than zero, oh, so a positive real number, and it says that that base there, a, cannot equal zero. Well, the reason that it cannot equal zero is because if we have zero to, I'm um, sorry, one, it cannot equal one. If we have one to any power, then that's just a one by definition in those exponent rules. So that would not be an exponential function. That would be a constant function. Now, this is important. It says the domain of the function is the set of all real numbers. So up to this point, we've had polynomial functions, rational functions, and radical functions that we've talked about the domain. Now we're adding in exponentials. So you have to know that the domain of exponentials is all real numbers. Let's look at some other um, features of an, a, an exponential function. This is a general graph of a generic exponential function. And these properties are things that will be very, very good for you uh, to learn and to know. The basic features of an exponential function are, remember the domain is the set of all real numbers. But look at this. If you look at the picture, you can kind of see why it's going out forever and ever in this direction and then up and out over here. So we have all real numbers. The range, or the y values, is the set of positive real numbers. Well, again, think about the way this graph looks. As it's coming down here, it's going to start following along that x-axis, but not crossing over. So that's why our range is all the positives, 0 but not including, to infinity. There are no x-intercepts. Well, that's because it's not ever going to cross the x-axis, so it will not have an x-intercept. But the y-intercept is 1, crosses through here at the point 0, 1. Now again, this is the generic um, exponential. If we had something like 2 to the x, or 3 to the x, or 5 to the x, something like that. If we start adding and subtracting and putting negatives, those act like translations that then move the graph around. Uh, the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote as x approaches negative infinity. As our x values go out here towards negative infinity, then we are following along that x-axis. That is a horizontal asymptote. And it says if our a value is bigger than 1, this is an increasing function and it is 1 to 1. So it is going up. That is called a monotonic function. It is increasing over its entire domain. It, it's doing one thing, mono meaning 1, over its entire domain. It contains the points 0, 1, 1, a, whatever the base is, and negative 1, 1 over A. That is true every time. And this graph is smooth and continuous with no corners or gaps, meaning if I start drawing this graph, I can draw it without having to ever lift up my pencil. It's smooth and it's continuous.